Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back with five Excel tricks that will make you advance in Excel. So let's get started. Our first trick is how to create multi-layer pie chart. For this, select your data. Now go to insert tab and click on pie charts and click on donut. Now select first one and right click here. Go to format, go to format data series and decrease this size. Now I have to select second data for this. Just click on this and select data, add, select the series name that is your sales quantity and then select your series that is your second data and click on ok now again click on ok now just format this as you want Now change the color Now select your first one and click on data labels now if you want here year you can select your data Click on values from cells, select your years and then OK. Just resize this, make it bold. can also give color to this just resize your graph you can also give here year like this values from cells select your range of year and click on ok just resize this and make it bold and it's done how to add green and red arrows in excel let's see how we can add this just select your range and press ctrl 1 now go to number and click on custom and type here one formula that is now use window plus full stop or this symbol
and it's done. Now let's move to our next trick that is how to find top five from the list in Excel. We have this list and now I have to find top five from that list. For this you can use sort function. Select your array. Now use comma. Now our sales quantity is on second column. For this you can write two and then minus one to make it ascending order then close the bracket and enter now use take function here and starting and we want five that's why i'm typing here five close the bracket and enter and it's done now let's move to our next trick that is how to make to do list you can simply use checkboxes. Select your range, go to insert tab and click on checkboxes. Now use here conditional formatting on your task. Select the range, go to conditional formatting, click on new rule and click on use a formula. Now type here one formula that is is equal to select your first status cell. Remove this dollar sign then is equal to then type here true then select the format that is strike through and click on ok again click on ok now if you take this your task will strike through so let's move to our next trick that is how to use grouping in excel with floor function for example i have done this grouping with the help of formula so let's see here how we can group this. Simply use here floor formula. Select your number, then comma. Our significance is our group Y. Just freeze this by pressing F4. Then close this bracket. Then use and sign or hyphen sign. Again, use floor formula, select your number, then in significance, select your group Y. Again, freeze this by pressing F4, then close this and add in it your group Y value and freeze this and enter. Just drag this to all. And it's done now if you change here group by value like this your all dynamic grouping will be done if you like this video don't forget to share this video and if you have any query regarding excel please do comment in comment section thank you so much